but this is what it looks like. You see these chicken legs? They're tender and starting to fall apart. Hey, Mark Lambert here. I'm in the sweet spot of mine distributing test kitchen today. It's kind of warm outside, but it's even hotter right here in this seat. I'm working on a bowl of Filipino adobo. And let me tell you, my buddy Jamie Smith turned me on to this. He learned it when he was in Iraq uh, cooking, uh, in, cooking for a bunch of different people in Iraq on the deployment over there. And let me tell you, this stuff is amazing. And what's even more amazing is how simple it is. Check it out. While I was eating this, thought I'd show y'all how to make it. it. Takes too long for a whole video, but it's so simple. I'm not really going to need to get into the intricacies of how to make this. It's not like gumbo where you got to make a a roux and it requires the Trinity and stock and all this. This is Filipino adobo, and the best way for me to describe this is. Filipino gumbo. Now, it's a lot simpler than gumbo. It's something you make with rice. You can put potatoes with it if you want. But imagine, rather than having to have smoked meats and seared and browned meats, mm, it creates tons of flavor in a short period of time by boiling the right meats in a mixture of vinegar and water soy sauce and seasonings. It's really all it amounts to is some boiled meat in the right seasonings. So Filipino adobo, uh, Filipino adobo is so 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 good. I'm telling you you have to try this but I'm gonna caution you don't do like I do. First time I made it I didn't put pork belly in it. That was a mistake. Pork belly is essential I think. You could get by with pork butt and it'll be okay but pork belly. I'm gonna post this recipe in a single form, which is a like a single serving, probably for, I'm gonna call it for four people. Um, we quadrupled it today. Uh, and I'm gonna say we used two pounds of pork belly. We probably used a pound of rib trimmings. We used a family pack of chicken legs. And we did a large pack of chicken wings. Um, and all it amounts to is you put all this stuff in a pot Put these seasonings in the recipe that I'm going to post in there. Bring it to a boil, reduce it, and let it simmer for a couple of hours. And that's it. It's boiled meat, but you got to cook the right meat and the right stuff. That's why we're going to give you this recipe. I'm going to take you over to the pot and I want to show you what it really looks like. But think about it. It's just Filipino gumbo. But because it's got the pork belly, it's got chicken wings, you can put chicken feet in it. This is one of those things, you guys... I will, I will tell you, you should experiment with some flavors, some different things, but do not do without bone-in chicken. Do not do without pork belly. Outside of that, you can add some other things to it, um, but for the most part, this recipe that I'm, that I'm posting, the only thing that I omitted on this one was some of the curry powder. It called for a, ta a teaspoon of curry powder per recipe, and I only had one teaspoon and I made a recipe times four. So um, I did add some Wilsonshire and that took up for a little bit of the curry powder because Wilsonshire has some curry in it. Um, so I omitted one cup of the soy for one cup of Wilsonshire. Is the only change that I made to this recipe and I did it times four. Don't think you have to brown your meat ahead of time, you don't. So I'm gonna share this recipe with you here uh, in the comment section of this. Uh, I'll post a quick picture of it so you can take a snapshot of it. I don't want to take you over and I want to show you the pot, show you what the finished product looks like. Here it is, finished product. I'm not going to get into how to put it together because you just put the ingredients in the pot, bring it to a boil, reduce it, and let it simmer until everything's tender. But this is what it looks like. You see these chicken legs? They're tender and starting to fall apart. The chicken wings are super tender and starting to fall apart. My pork belly. Here's my pork belly pieces. They're starting to bust apart. That's what you're looking for. The meat's falling off of those rib bones. This adobo just has to simmer for a couple of hours for everything to get tender. You see, those are the pieces of pork belly right there. That right there is essential to the texture and flavor is having that fat. The ribs are good. The chicken's good. You know, you can use pork butt is good, but you still need some of that pork belly. This broth. All this is, y'all, 
is the right combination of ingredients brought together and cooked here and this combination of ingredients gives it the depth of flavor that this has been browning and cooking for hours and been working on it for days really and it's, it's that simple you can serve this with some potatoes serve it with rice um, but essentially take the ingredients don't omit the pork belly don't omit um, the good vinegar and the good soy sauce um, but just as long as you've got that pork belly in there you can add a few extra flavors if you want like I said I added Wilsonshire I omitted one cup of the soy for Wilsonshire high quality soy sauce high quality vinegar I used the uh, actual Filipino vinegar and it's I think it was Datu Puti was the name put it on the pot bring it to a boil let it simmer till it's tender serve it with some rice amaze your friends especially in the winter time with a good warming bowl of Filipino adobo